In this video, we'll take a look at the type of reaction for AgNO3 plus NaCl, silver nitrate plus sodium chloride. When we look at this, we have quite a bit of chemical substances up here, and that sometimes will make you think maybe a double displacement. Let's see how that might work, though. We have a silver, which has a positive charge. The nitrate is always negative, and we have sodium, one plus, and then the chlorine, that's negative. So we can see we have this positive, negative, positive, negative. That means that we will have a double displacement reaction, and the positives are going to switch places. So the silver is going to come over, and it's going to bond with the Cl. We'll get AgCl. The sodium, that'll come over. It's going to bond with the nitrate. We get NaNO3. So that's a double displacement reaction. When we look at double displacement reactions, we need to check and make sure they actually take place. And we use the solubility table, or memorize the solubility rules, to figure that out. So here's a solubility table. Let's see if we can find silver chloride. We go down, here's silver, and over here is the chloride. So as we go down and across, we see that I. That means it's insoluble. This will be a solid. For the NaNO3, here's the sodium we go across to the nitrate. That has an S. It's soluble, so it's dissolved. We write AQ. So if we have a solid, that means the reaction takes place. So this double displacement reaction for AgNO3 plus NaCl, this reaction does happen. We have a solid, which is a precipitate. This is Dr. B with the type of reaction for AgNO3 plus NaCl. Thanks for watching.